The vest has been handed down to the oldest in each generation of our family. It was made by Lord Abarthnot's waiting maid. She wove the linen and the silk, and then she embroidered the fabric and put this together for him. And then he married the waiting maid instead of the young woman that he was to marry. Indeed, okay. Because he did that, he lost his lordship, mm -hmm. and he then came here to the States. It has a fascinating story. Now, I can't confirm the story. However, I can tell you a little bit about the piece itself. It's a wonderful piece. And what I see here when I look at this is I see an influence of chinoiserie. We see chinoiserie examples in furniture and textiles. And what it really is is a continental interpretation of Asian influence. Okay. And there was a lot of export at the time, of course. So that's why we see these influences in textiles and in other medium as well. But you see a lot of that influence right down the center of the garment. Yes. We do see a little bit of discoloration up here in the collar, probably from wear. Right. And then a little bit over here, tiny little bit of mildew. These little little spots are actually mildew spots. Okay. But other than that, amazing condition. And I'd have to say that conservatively, three to five thousand dollars in the auction okay. market, in the fair market value world. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>